Chapter 1. The Pirate Obsession Once upon a time, in a small seaside town, there lived three friends, Jack, Sarah, and Tom. They were all around eight years old, and they shared a common obsession. Pirates. They loved reading pirate stories, watching pirate movies, and even dressing up as pirates for Halloween. They had a secret club where they would imagine themselves as the crew of their own pirate ship, setting sail on daring adventures. One sunny afternoon, they decided to take their toy boat out to the nearby cove for a pretend pirate voyage. They were having a great time pretending to search for treasure when suddenly a strong gust of wind blew their toy boat away from them out to sea. The kids were upset, but they weren't going to give up that easily. They decided to climb aboard Sarah's dad's sailboat and chase after the toy boat. They were so caught up in the excitement of the chase that they didn't realize they were heading out into open waters. After a while, they lost sight of their toy boat, but instead, they saw a large pirate ship on the horizon. They were frightened, but also thrilled to see a real pirate ship. The pirates on the ship had been on the lookout for treasure, but instead, they had stumbled upon the kid's sailboat. The pirates were surprised to see the children and the children were equally surprised to see real-life pirates. The kids were terrified, but their love for pirates took over, and they started asking the pirates about their adventures. The pirates, amused by the children's fascination, welcomed them aboard the ship, and that's when their adventure began. Chapter 2 The Pirate Crew As the children boarded the pirate ship, they were greeted by a group of rough-looking, but friendly pirates. The pirates were surprised to see such young children on their ship, but they welcomed them with open arms. The children were fascinated by the pirate crew, and the pirates were equally fascinated by the children's love for pirates. They were amazed to hear about the children's pirate obsession and their own imaginary pirate adventures. The pirate captain, a tall, bearded man with an eye patch, introduced himself as Captain Blackheart. He explained to the children that they were on a mission to find the treasure of the legendary pirate Captain Blackbeard. The treasure was said to be hidden on a remote island, and the pirates had been searching for it for years. The children were excited to be on a real pirate ship and to be part of a real pirate treasure hunt. They asked if they could help the pirates in their quest, and Captain Blackheart agreed. Under one condition, they had to follow the pirate code. The pirate code was a set of rules that all pirates had to follow, including honesty, loyalty, and respect for their fellow crew members. The children agreed to follow the pirate code, and they were given tasks to help the pirates in their quest. The children learned how to hoist the sails, steer the ship, and look out for any signs of danger. They were also taught how to use a spyglass to search for clues that might lead them to the treasure. As the children worked alongside the pirate crew, they realized that pirates weren't all bad. They saw the good qualities in them such as their bravery, resourcefulness, and loyalty to their crewmates. The children were having the time of their lives, but little did they know that their adventure was just beginning. They were about to face some dangerous obstacles and fierce competition in their quest to find the treasure of Captain Blackbeard. Chapter 3 On the High Seas the pirate ship set sail towards the remote island where the treasure of Captain Blackbeard was said to be hidden. As they sailed across the high seas, the children and the pirate crew encountered a fierce storm. The waves were so high and the winds were so strong that the ship was in danger of capsizing. The children were scared, but the pirate crew remained calm and resourceful. 
They worked together to secure the ship and ride out the storm. It was a close call, but they made it through, and the children were in awe of the pirates' bravery. After the storm passed, they continued their journey towards the island. But they weren't alone. Another group of pirates was also searching for the treasure, and they were not as friendly as Captain Blackheart's crew. The rival pirates were led by a vicious pirate captain named Redbeard. He and his crew were notorious for their ruthless tactics and had no qualms about taking whatever they wanted, even if it meant resorting to violence. Captain Blackheart and his crew knew they had to be careful and stay one step ahead of Redbeard and his crew. They were on high alert and always on the lookout for any signs of danger. Days turned into weeks as they sailed towards the island. The children and the pirate crew faced many challenges, including strong currents, dangerous reefs, and lack of food and water. But they persevered, and their determination kept them going. Finally, after weeks at sea, they spotted the island on the horizon. They were so close to the treasure, but they had to be careful. Redbeard and his crew were still hot on their heels, and they could attack at any moment. The children and the pirate crew braced themselves for the final showdown. They were determined to find the treasure of Captain Blackbeard before Redbeard and his crew did. The stage was set for a thrilling adventure on the remote island, where the treasure was hidden. Chapter 4 The First Clue As the children and the pirate crew stepped onto the remote island, they knew they had to act fast. They needed to find the treasure of Captain Blackbeard before Redbeard and his crew arrived. The island was overgrown with thick jungle, and the children and the pirates had to hack their way through the dense vegetation. As they searched for clues that might lead them to the treasure, they heard the sound of footsteps behind them. They turned around to see Red Baird and his crew approaching. The two groups faced each other, and there was a tense silence. Red Baird smirked, confident that his crew would find the treasure first. But Captain Blackheart was not intimidated. He stood tall and ordered his crew to be ready for anything. Suddenly, one of the children spotted something glinting in the bushes. It was a small golden key. Captain Blackheart recognized the key as the first clue to finding the treasure. The key was engraved with a symbol that only Captain Blackbeard would know. The pirates and the children worked together to decipher the symbol and figure out where it would lead them next. After much discussion and debate, they realized that the symbol represented a cave that was hidden deep in the jungle. They knew they had to go to the cave to find the next clue, but they had to be careful. Redbeard and his crew were still lurking around, waiting to steal the key and the clue. The children and the pirate crew came up with a plan to distract Redbeard and his crew, while a small group snuck off to the cave to search for the next clue. The plan worked, and they were able to sneak away unnoticed. They made their way to the cave and found the next clue. It was a map that showed the location of the treasure. The children and the pirate crew were ecstatic. They were one step closer to finding the treasure of Captain Blackbeard. But they knew they still had a long way to go. They had to race against time and against Redbeard and his crew to find the treasure before it was too late. Chapter 5 The Island of Danger With the second clue in hand, the children and the pirate crew made their way through the jungle towards the location of the treasure. The map had led them to a small island surrounded by treacherous waters and dangerous sea creatures. As they approached the island, they saw Red Baird and his crew in the distance. The rival pirates were also headed towards the island, and the children and the pirate crew knew they had to act fast. They decided to split up into smaller groups to search for the treasure. The children teamed up with a few of the pirates and made their way towards the rocky cliffs on the northern side of the island. 
It was a treacherous journey, and they had to be careful not to slip and fall. As they climbed higher and higher, they noticed that the cliffs were riddled with caves and crevices. They explored the caves one by one, searching for any signs of the treasure. But they soon realized that they were not alone. The caves were home to dangerous creatures, such as snakes and spiders. They had to fight their way through the creatures and avoid deadly traps set up by Captain Blackbeard to protect his treasure. Meanwhile, the other group of pirates led by Captain Blackheart came face to face with Redbeard and his crew. It was a fierce battle, and both sides fought hard to gain the upper hand. But Captain Blackheart and his crew were skilled fighters, and they managed to fend off Redbeard and his crew. The children and their group finally found the treasure hidden deep in one of the caves. It was a chest filled with gold and jewels beyond their wildest dreams. They were overjoyed and ran back to share the news with the others. But as they made their way back, they encountered Red Baird and his crew once again. It was a desperate fight, and the children and the pirate crew had to use all their skills and strength to fend off the rival pirates. Finally, they managed to defeat Red Baird and his crew and emerged victorious. They had found the treasure of Captain Black Baird and defeated their rivals. They were true pirates now, and they knew that they would never forget this adventure. Chapter 6 The Rival Pirates after their victory over Red Baird and his crew, the children and the pirate crew celebrated on the island. They were thrilled to have found the treasure and to have outsmarted their rivals. But their celebration was short-lived. Red Baird was not one to give up easily. He and his crew were determined to get revenge and steal the treasure. As the children and the pirate crew prepared to leave the island, they noticed a ship on the horizon. It was Red Baird's ship and it was heading straight towards them. Captain Blackheart knew they had to act quickly. He ordered his crew to set sail and prepared for battle. They had to protect the treasure and their lives. The two pirate crews clashed once again, and it was a fierce battle. The children watched from the safety of the ship, feeling a mixture of fear and excitement. They cheered on the pirate crew and hoped they would emerge victorious once again. But Red Baird and his crew were not giving up without a fight. They were skilled fighters and managed to overpower some of the pirate crew. The children were worried that they might lose the treasure and their lives. But just when things seemed to be going badly for the pirate crew, a sudden storm rolled in. The winds howled and the waves rose, making it impossible for the ships to fight. The children and the pirate crew took advantage of the chaos and made a quick escape. They left Red Baird and his crew behind, struggling in the stormy waters. As they sailed away from the island, the children and the pirate crew breathed a sigh of relief. They had defeated their rivals and protected the treasure. They were true pirates now, and they knew that they would always remember this adventure on the high seas. Chapter 7 I Race Against Time With the treasure safely in their possession, the pirate crew set sail towards their home port. They were excited to finally be able to spend their hard-earned loot and live the life of true pirates. But as they sailed, they noticed something strange happening to the sky. Dark clouds were forming, and the wind was picking up. It was a storm, and a dangerous one at that. The pirate crew knew they had to act quickly. They set to work securing the ship and battening down the hatches. But it was no use. The storm was too powerful and the ship was tossed around like a toy in the water. As the storm raged on, the pirate crew feared for their lives. The children huddled together, terrified and unsure of what would happen next. But Captain Blackheart refused to give up. He knew they had to get the treasure to safety, no matter what. He ordered his crew to keep the ship afloat, no matter the cost. For hours, they battled the storm, trying to keep the ship from sinking. It was a race against time, and they knew they had to get to shore before the storm became too much for them to handle. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, the storm began to subside. The wind died down, and the clouds cleared. The pirate crew let out a collective sigh of relief. They had made it through the storm, but they were not out of danger yet. As they approached the shore, they noticed something strange. There were other pirates waiting for them eager to steal their treasure. It was another battle, and the pirate crew fought hard to keep their treasure. 
but they were tired and worn out from the storm. They knew they couldn't keep fighting forever. Just when all seemed lost, they heard the sound of cannons in the distance. It was a Navy ship, come to their rescue. The Navy ship fired on the rival pirates, forcing them to flee. The pirate crew was grateful for the Navy's help. They finally made it safely to shore, treasure intact. They knew they had been lucky to survive the storm and the rival pirates, but they also knew that they were true pirates now, with the courage and strength to face any challenge that lay ahead. Chapter 8 The Final Battle As the pirate crew returned to their home port with the treasure, they were greeted as heroes. Everyone was impressed by their bravery and skill on the high seas, but their celebration was short-lived. Red Baird and his crew had not given up yet. They were determined to get their hands on the treasure and exact revenge on the pirate crew and the children. The final battle was imminent, and both sides knew it. The tension in the air was palpable as the pirate crew and Red Baird's crew faced off against each other, swords drawn and ready for battle. The fight was fierce and intense, with neither side gaining the upper hand for a long time. The children watched from the sidelines, feeling a mixture of fear and excitement. They knew that the outcome of the battle would determine their fate. Just when it seemed like Red Baird's crew might win, Captain Blackheart rallied his crew and led a final charge. They fought with all their might, determined to protect the treasure and their lives. In the end, it was a close victory for the pirate crew. Red Baird and his crew were defeated, and the treasure was finally safe in their hands. The children and the pirate crew celebrated their victory with a grand feast, complete with music and dancing. They knew that they had proven themselves as true pirates and had faced their fears with bravery and courage. As the night drew to a close, the pirate crew and the children said their goodbyes. It was time for the children to return to their normal lives, but they knew that they would never forget their adventure on the high seas. As they sailed away, the children looked back at the pirate crew with a mix of sadness and gratitude. They knew that they had learned a lot from their time with the pirates, and they would always remember their pirate friends with fondness and respect. Chapter 9 The Treasure After the final battle, the pirate crew returned to their ship with the treasure. The children watched as they opened the chest, eager to see what was inside. There were piles of gold coins, sparkling jewels, and precious artifacts. The children's eyes widened in wonder as they beheld the treasure. Captain Blackheart noticed their excitement and smiled. This treasure is not just for us, he said. It's for all of us who love adventure and the thrill of the high seas. The pirate crew distributed the treasure among themselves and the children, each taking a share. They knew that the treasure was not just a prize to be hoarded, but a symbol of their courage and determination. As they counted their spoils, the pirate crew and the children realized that they had gained much more than just treasure on their journey. They had learned about trust, teamwork, and the value of true friendship. They knew that they would always be bound together by their shared experiences and the memories they had created. And they knew that they would always have a love for the sea and the pirate life that had brought them together. As the ship sailed off into the sunset, the children looked back at the pirate crew with gratitude and respect. They had been changed by their adventure on the high seas, and they knew that they would always be proud to call themselves pirates. Chapter 10 Saying Goodbye As the ship sailed away from the island, the children and the pirate crew knew that their adventure had come to an end. They had faced danger and hardship together, and now it was time to say goodbye. The children gathered on the deck, looking out at the horizon with a mix of sadness and excitement. They knew that they would miss the pirate crew and the thrill of the high seas, but they were also looking forward to returning to their families and friends. Captain Blackheart approached them, a warm smile on his face. You may be leaving us, but you will always be part of our crew, he said. Remember, once a pirate, always a pirate. The children smiled back feeling a sense of kinship with the pirate crew. They knew that they would never forget the lessons they had learned and the memories they had created on their journey. One by one, the pirate crew said their goodbyes to the children. They hugged each other tightly, promising to keep in touch and to never forget their adventure on the high seas. 
As the ship sailed away, the children waved goodbye, feeling a mix of emotions. They were sad to leave their new friends behind, but they were also excited to return to their normal lives, knowing that they had grown and changed in ways they never could have imagined. They knew that they would always remember their time with the pirate crew with fondness and respect. And they knew that, no matter where life took them, they would always be proud to call themselves pirates. Epilogue, The Pirate Life Years went by, and the children grew up, but they never forgot their adventure on the high seas with the pirate crew. They would often gather together and reminisce about their journey sharing stories and laughter as they remembered the excitement and danger of their pirate life. Some of the children even went on to become pirates themselves, drawn to the thrill and adventure of the open sea. They would often think back to their time with the pirate crew and the lessons they had learned about trust, teamwork, and the value of true friendship. Captain Blackheart and his crew had long since retired, but their legacy lived on. Many young adventurers would come to hear their stories and seek their advice, eager to learn from their experience and wisdom. And so, the pirate life continued to flourish, attracting new generations of adventurers and explorers. But for the children who had once sailed the high seas with Captain Blackheart and his crew, the pirate life would always hold a special place in their hearts. For it was through their adventure with the pirate crew that they had learned the true meaning of courage, loyalty, and the pursuit of one's dreams. And they knew that, no matter where life took them, they would always be proud to call themselves pirates.